All right, this is the Aquaponics Haven. This is Craig again. You may be thinking, why in the world is he showing this? I wanted to show you this because this is a billboard sign, which you probably done figured that out. It's, it's about half of it right now. Um, the rest of it's been used as beds. But if you're looking to, if you've got to do a, um, a bed, you've got to put have a liner, this is the cheapest way. Um, you can get these things, sometimes they'll give them to you for free or give it to you for a little or nothing. But anyway, um, I just wanted to shoot that to you. Um, but anyway, this is um, February the 16th. Um, it's Saturday. I've been busy over here at the Aquaphonics Haven building a new system that's going to be sitting outside that um, I'm going to grow my tomatoes in. So um, I just pretty much got it pretty much situated and I've got the water circulating. But anyway, I don't know if I'm going to be, it's going to be a hydroponic system or an aquaponic system. But um, anyway, here it is. It's a floating raft bed. If you remember in some of my earlier videos, there was a, a bed in there that was 80 inches long and that was 18 inches wide. This was it. Um, I took it out of my greenhouse and because it was leaking, but I changed the liner in it and um, put this in here. But anyway, I've got a two inch drain here, which you can hear it draining very well. And um, doing good. I've got these little three inch pots that um, I'm gonna put holes in, holes in them a little bit, but um, I just put them in here with some hydrogen trying to show you what it was. I bought these at Dollar Tree. There's like 20 of them for a dollar, so I'm going to use them for they're three inches wide, so I, I saw them and I just shoot. I can use them for something. So this is what I'm using it for. But I'm going to put tomato plants in this. The reason why these 2 by 4s are attached to it, um, this is going to be like a trellis for the the tomato plants to hang on. I'm going to have some stuff running across here. So I'll have that probably in the next video. But let me show you my tank. Here's my little drain. I mean my arm um, where the water comes in at. Which you can see there. Just a little. But here's the it's five gallon drum tank. Um, so this is, there's the drain coming into the thing, it's draining real good, it's got a little pump down there. A buddy of mine that I got into building an aquaponics um, system, he got interested and he's built one at his house and he bought a, a pond kit. Hold on just a minute on a pond kit and this pump was in there so and it's got a little light on it so it's gonna be kind of neat at, at night um, but anyway it wouldn't pump exactly what he wanted so we did some swapping around and I tell you the best way to do is to um, find out if there's some people around you and um and um, that are doing aquaponics and hydroponics and stuff like that and you know you can learn from each other and you can trade and swap and somebody might be needing this that you have this and they may ha be having something that you need and so you know the deal is is to build this stuff to me anyway I'm I live on a limited income um, so you have to uh, do things as cheap as you can so I didn't pay for the barrel I did some swapping um, I didn't pay for it actually none of this right here I've probably got about um, 10 bucks in this setup right here so that just goes to show you that um, swapping around talking with people doing horse trading get to know other um, aquaponic 
hydroponic people that are building systems that are in the same thing there's communities that you can get on YouTube you'll be amazed how many people you meet on YouTube on um, there's a place called aquaponic source community which is uh, um, so sort of like a Facebook for for aquaponics and that's a good place to learn information and talk to people and that's how I met a few of my friends that are in this and that we help each other out so it's good to do this so you know it can save you money and plus you'll learn from each other and it's exciting but anyway this is my new system stay tuned you'll be seeing more of this and I can't I've got some tomato plants that um, I did some cuttings off of the others and they are really getting starting to to do good so I can't wait man it is right the high 30s right now in Moultrie Georgia it is it is freezing and it's supposed to be snow flurries tonight so it's gonna be freezing tonight so hopefully though this is the last of the cold snap so but yes look forward to spring coming in and and you know growing stuff and getting excited I've, I'm plant I've got some some broccoli and some cauliflower and I'm fixing to transplant into my the rock garden the um, flood and drain system in my greenhouse so I'll be putting that in there but I'm excited about spring coming in but everybody you know comment on if um, you have any questions or you have anything that you can comment to help me on anything please do but yes yes um help one another and um main reason why I built my them building on to my system is to help people at my church there's a lot of elderly people and um that are that are on fixed income and can't afford to buy vegetables and different things like that so that's one thing that I am um trying to do trying to grow this stuff so I can support my family and support some of these elderly people in um in our church so but anyway it's, it's good to help one another so that is my <laughs> thought for today you know so but anyway um look forward for more to from aquaponics haven this is craig lord willing we'll see you see you next time and may the lord jesus christ bless you you have a good day bye